Hello, welcome to InZara's Quizmaster Excel template. This template could be used to conduct quizzes at work as part of team events, could be used in schools by teachers, could also be used at home for serious or fun quiz events with friends and family. The template is available online for free download at www.inzara.blogspot.com. Let's take a quick look at the blog. So this is where this template is located. There are two links available by which the Excel file, the template file can be downloaded, one via Dropbox and the other one via SkyDrive. The blog also has more information about the template, which is also available in a PDF document, which is printable also, the document images are also posted along with the post so that it can be viewed easily in the browser. Now let's take a look at what's in the template. There are three worksheets in the template. The first one is the introduction worksheet. It gives an overview of the template and also how to use the template for conducting quizzes. The second worksheet is the questions worksheet. This is where the questions and the answer choices, the points for each question and the correct answers are entered by the quiz conductor. The third and final worksheet is the quiz worksheet. This is what the quiz conductor will actually use to conduct a quiz. If you're projecting the template on screen using a projector, the audience will be able to see the questions and then the answers and also the scoreboard. Now let's talk about the three steps of preparation before you conduct the quiz. Step one, create the questions and answers that you need for the quiz or collect them from outside sources like the book or you can download information from the internet. Step number two, enter that information in the questions worksheet. In the template here, we have questions around capital cities of the countries around the world. You can easily delete these and then replace them with your own questions and answer choices and the points you want to award for each correct answer and also make sure that you have the correct answers entered in this column. You can easily copy from other sources and paste them here, but please make sure that the column orders are not changed. The columns need to be in the same order. And you can also enter points for each question and you can choose your own value for points. In this example, I've given five points for the first 10 questions, each of them, and then 10 points for the next 10 questions, and then 20 each for the next 10 questions. But you can choose your own values and you can customize it as you need, but make sure that they are actually numbers it can be any number. Step number three, let's move on to the quiz worksheet and focus on entering information here. So we would have to enter the number of participants that would participate in the quiz and the number of questions that the quiz will include. You would also enter the names of the participants below. The participants can be from one to four and the number of questions can be from one to 50. We're all set to start the quiz. However, before we do that, let's quickly review the other components of this quiz worksheet. We have the quiz control board, which has two pieces, the current question and the reveal answer. You can use the up button here to move to the next question in the quiz. This up button in the reveal answer section will actually reveal the correct answer for a question. You also have the scoreboard that updates the scores for each participant as soon as the answer is revealed. The quiz progress bar keeps track of which question number we are currently on and compared to the total number of questions. The message board displays errors if there are any. For example, in this case, I've revealed answer number one but I haven't really gone to that question yet. Now I get an error saying you have revealed answers before the questions. So I can go back. Now the error goes away. 
because I have not revealed any answers before I get to the question. Finally, we have the questions and answers section here. The questions will appear here. The answer choices will appear here. And the responses from the participants will be entered in these columns here by the quiz conductor. Now let's move on and actually start the quiz. As a quiz conductor, click the up button here in the current question and that triggers and starts the process. So you'll see the first question and the answer choices and the number of points awarded for the correct answer to this question. We don't know the correct answer yet. You'll see these cells get highlighted in the tan colors. So this is where you would actually enter the responses from participants. There's a drop down, so you could easily choose the valid values. So in this case, let's say I'm going to randomly choose Jamestown for person A, for Dobby for person B, and Dublin for person C. Now that all the participants have responded, now it's time to reveal the answer. Click the up button here that reveals the answer correct answer and also it highlights the person who got it right in this case person B got it right and the scoreboard reflects that the person B has five points whereas person A and C did not score any now that ends question number one now to move on to question number two we'll go back here and then click the up button here to go to the second question you can see the quiz progress bar indicates that we are in question number two relative to the total number of questions of 10. Just scroll down a little so that you can actually get the question number two higher in the view. Now it's time again for the participants to respond to question number two. We'll start with person B this time because we started with person A for question number one. And if you want any hints for that, the template also provides you that question starts with person B. So person B, let's say they enter the response and then person C will enter the response and person A. So after you hear the responses from these uh, participants, the quiz conductor will actually enter them in this template. And then now it's time to reveal the answer. The quiz conductor will click this button. The answer is revealed. Person C got it right. The person C score has been updated to five. And you can continue the cycle until you run out of all questions for the quiz. And then the participant with the highest score in the end will be declared the winner. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you find this useful for conducting your own fun quiz events. Please share your feedback www.ainzara.blogspot.com. Thank you.